Hello Divination and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to overlap your logos on your Divi websites. This technique is very straightforward. It can be applied to a single page or across your whole website. So in this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to achieve this. To achieve this design, there's two things that we need to have in place. So first of all, you need your own logo. Now the one I've used in this tutorial is 225 by 120 pixels. And also we're going to need some CSS code, which I'll link in the show notes below. All right, so let's get started and let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is to upload your logo. So I'm going to go into my dashboard and then we're going to come all the way down here to theme options. And then where it says logo, we're going to click on upload. And then you need to upload it from your computer. So I'm going to click select files. Now my logo is on the desktop, so I'm just going to click it once and then click open right so with the logo selected all i need to do now is to set it as a logo so i'm just going to click on set as logo right so now our logo has been set up i'm going to go ahead and click on save changes right so the next thing we need to do now is to go into the theme customizer so i'm going to click on theme customizer and then here we need to go into the header and navigation section so here you can see that our logo is not overlapping, it's just there as normal. So to achieve that overlapping effect, what I need to do now is to go to the primary menu bar and set the max logo height at 100. Now remember, the height of our logo is 120, so we're going to have that 20 pixels to overlap, which is cool. Okay, so once, once you've set it up, click on Save Changes. So mine's already saved, so I'm just going to close it. Now you have to decide where, what you need to do. So if you want this overlapping effect to happen on a single page, all you have to do is to apply the code onto the page settings of that page. So let me show you how to do that. So now I'm just gonna go to a visit site so we can go to the main page of the site. So here I'm gonna enable the visual builder. And then I'm gonna come here to expand settings and I'm gonna click this gear icon because this is how we access the page settings. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm going to click on the CSS tab and just paste my code. Now you can see straight away that effect has happened, but it's only happening on this page. So let me just demonstrate that. So I'm going to save this page and then exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so right here, you now it's looking good. If we click on Portfolio, for example, it just defaults back to how it was. That's because we've put the code on the specific page. But ideally, you want to have this effect throughout the whole website. So in order to achieve that, let's just enable the Visual Builder first, get rid of that code, and then we're going to apply the CSS. So I'm just going to go back into my page settings. And let's delete this code. Click Save. So now I'm going to go back into the dashboard and then go to Theme Options. So this time we need to scroll all the way down here until we get the custom CSS. So here with the custom CSS, I'm just going to stretch this so we can get enough to add. Okay, so I'm just going to paste it here and click on Save Changes. So now, hopefully, if we go to our website, that effect should be shown across the whole website. So let's try that. Okay, so you can see here it's on the main page, which is good. Now, if I click Portfolio, you can see it's overlapping. So there you have it. This is how you overlap your logos on your DV website. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments box below. And also be sure to subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be notified every time we release a new video because we are producing daily quick videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.